the school and it was called the School of Allied Health Sciences. The school opened in 1968 and I got here as soon as I could. It was 1974. <laughs> so I've had the, the great pleasure of serving every dean our school has had. I've had the pleasure of serving every president this university has had. Uh, it, it's been an enlightening experience. I've run into so many wonderful people. And what Dr. Bing was able to do, which was just amazing, is that he had every single chairman in the School of Medicine buy into the fact that we needed a School of Health Professions. That they, they embraced the idea that uh, allied health professionals um, were not just uh, uh, auxiliary people, but they were partners in taking care of patients. And uh, how he did that, I don't know, but he did. It worked. So we, we were the first school of health professions west of the Mississippi um, and proud of it. I really respect Dr. Cavazos for the knowledge that he has uh, about our school and about all of the programs. You can ask him anything and he can tell you the answer. He really serves as the school's historian. And sometimes you don't know where you're going if you don't know where you've been. So in my role working with incoming students and also working with our alumni, it helps me make better decisions so that I can implement new things, keep growing, but not forgetting our past and honoring that. And I think that is a huge compliment to what he has offered over these last 40 years. His ability to extend himself to other individuals, that's the mark of Henry. To be in that role outside yourself at all times. That's why Henry was such a success. He has got to hold a record of doing the most for the school in, in, in more varied positions than any other person has ever employed there. And it was a, always a pleasure working with him and for him. When I first came to UTMB as an employee, he took me under his wing right away and uh, really mentored me and uh, told me what how the how the institution operates and what was expected and how I should uh, perform on a campus like this and what are some of the important things and typically it all boiled down to let's make the students comfortable let's make the students happy and let's make them most of all succeed he's a great mentor he's encouraged me to go to school and get my college degree um, he thinks about everyone all the time if he can help someone he does if he can do something for someone, he does. Dr. Cavazos, I wanna thank you and tell you that I appreciate you very much in the fact that you've supported, encouraged, and pushed me to continue my education. Um, in this, I have earned two degrees uh, following my heart's passion of law degree um, and study criminology at U of H in the pursuit of my JD degree, and that is because of you. And I wanna thank you for all you've done in your support of all of us in the department. And Henry, uh, thank you so much for all that you've done for the School of Health Professions and all that you've done for UTMB. Congratulations and thank you for all the accomplishments that you have provided to the School of Health Professions and UTMB. Uh, I think he's been a remarkable mentor to me, but most of all, he's been a very special friend. Congratulations, Henry Cavazos. ability to find my way uh, and contribute uh, to the School of Health Professions for as long as I have, uh, I, I, would, I would put that as a pretty high ranking uh, achievement, just finding, finding a way to, to make contributions to that fine institution. Congratulations on 40 years!